Hello, friends. Welcome back to Stephanie Reads. Tonight, we're going to be reading the story called The Story of Rock, Perfect for Baby Rockers. So, without further ado, let's get started. There's an old song that says blues music has a soul. Then the blues had a baby, and they named it Rock and Roll. Chuck Berry came along with the guitar and made it sing. Wait, there's no other page. Then Elvis Presley shook things up and the people crowned him king. Bob Dylan gave us poetry. The Rolling Stones brought style. And then with Beatlemania, rock made the world go wild. And there's the band members, Michael Starr, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and John Lennon. In the long summer of love, Janis Joplin's voice rang loud. The Who smashed their instruments. The dead jammed for the crowd. In 69 at Woodstock, hippies gathered all around. Hendrix wailed on his guitar. It was such an awesome sound. Long live rock and roll. Errol Smith dreamed on while Zeppelin played full blast. The Ramones played punk rock really, really fast. ACDC wore school uniforms while playing back in black. Scatamouche sang Queen as they brought opera back. David Bowie sang Let's Dance. Oh, the man knew how to dress. Tina Turner ruled the 80s. Her voice was simply the best. 80s rock had big screams and even bigger hair. Slash couldn't see his guitar. Bon Jovi was living on a prayer. Pearl Jam and Nirvana rocked with the lights out. And Seattle Grunge was born. Then Skia fused with rock, no doubt. Weezer dressed like Buddy Holly and the cruises were a ball. And who knew the white stripes weren't brothers and sister at all? Now some people say that rock is dead. Most greats are in the sky. But the real truth is that rock and roll will never, ever die. And that's the end of the story. I hope you children enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you love rock and roll. If you love music. And if you love the story. So yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.